So, uh, thank you for being here at our session. So, I ask myself, what is a public space in late prehistory? Of course, we have our views, what it is now a public space. We know historical sources, but what does uh, the public space in prehistory? We saw something which is cell presented, which is uh, another view of the landscape, how it is structured. And uh, what, who makes the public space a public space? This is also a question. This uh, uh, Brotherhood and uh, Unity Highway made through Yugoslavia after the Second World War. This was made by volunteers between Ljubljana and Zagreb. 54,000 volunteers made the highway in eight months. This is now not possible. I'm just talking about it. Uh, and who sets the rules for the public spaces? So who is the one people still, Vla Vlahi, still in, in the Balkan region, still doing sacrifice on, on the graves and so on, who sets the rules for burning people, for traffic, for commerce and so on. So we'll be go going to Slovenia in the broader region. Uh, I'll go through the Bronze Age into the Iron Age just to have maybe an idea how things can change and where we can also seek for this uh, uh, public spaces. Uh, a few years ago, in 99, was published this, this article. These are the uh, early and middle Bronze Age sites. We didn't have any of them fully excavated. Then, of course, the highways came, so new sites were excavated. Some of them also fully excavated. So now in, in northeastern Slovenia, we have the first in, insight into uh, uh, locations, how they look like, how sites were structured, just structured and so on. So one of the sites, as you see, it's sort of like it's dated. Uh, in the middle and uh, in the beginning of the late Bronze Age, just to see how it was it was located near a stream, which is quite often, and you see the houses, and in the center of this site, you see a more or less uh, empty space. This is something which is to us very familiar to see some some common places in the center of small settlements, and then we have a little bigger settlement. Again, this is uh, Pince from the same period. Uh, middle to the late Bronze Age. This is a bigger site and this is also, this is new. So this is plowing, modern plowing. This is what is seen here in the center. So again, there is a site with a big empty place in the center and we have fireplaces which were found only in this area. And then we move forward. This is Rogoza from a site from the Hallstatt A period is dated approximately between 1,200 and 1,000, plus minus. Uh, you see, I call it, a, it comes a little bit closer. So we have groups of buildings around smaller areas, and then in the center of this uh, settlement, again, there is a place where no structures could be, could be uh, found. And if we move forward, this is just three kilometers away. The same period, again there, uh, Orejova was also from the same uh, period, also finds matching, C14 matching, everything is matching. We see a quite interesting situation, different situation. We see two bigger groups of houses, in, and in the middle of it, here, we see a interesting structure. None of the structures are like that. It's a house, a building built on some timbers and it has a ditch whereas all the others were houses were built with post, post holes classical uh, building and we have a big no one knows what it is pit of, of irregular shape at the edge of the of this um, settlement and another site Dragomel which is also from this period in central Slovenia it wasn't published yet but just some pieces of it are published already, so we have groups of buildings again, and here, here, we have between two of the building groups, we have two hordes. Those hordes, and we see two of them, one is a big hoard with a lot of material, uh, and the other one, it's a small hoard, this one just scrap, cut. Access. It's, date, it's a little bit later if we date this, this uh, biconical uh, ingots and so on and so on. And plano convex ingots, it can be a little bit uh, later. So this is an overview what happens in the middle and the late Bronze Age 
in uh, central and northeastern Slovenia. But I would mo mostly focus on the uh, on the Iron Age. Uh, what happens in the Iron Age? Um, we're going to Poštela. It's a hill fort site with tumuli uh, around it, all down to the plain. Tumuli with one individual buried in the center of burial chamber. We know this attire from the Hall, classical attire from the Hallstatt period. Massive structures which are visible. This is more than eight by eight meter uh, and four meters high was this tumuli. We have one which is 50 meters in diameter and eight meters high. So these are structures which are visible in the in the relief. So if we look around Postela, we have a uh, situations with a hill fort in the center. Then we have two barrow cemeteries, two groups of uh, of mounds, and a flat cremation cemetery. Then we have here mounds in another distinct group, and now which we discovered this year, a flat cremation cemetery also here. We have bigger tumuli here, one is now erased, and we have this one 50 uh, meters in diameter in the center. And we see hallways falling, following different ridges uh, going to the, to the hill fort. And this is the uh, place, the, the upper part of the hill fort with the, with the, uh, with the groups of barrows. So I ask also myself, is community work also creating public things, public spaces? We did a lot of geophysics. And of course, one of the things is the rampart. We did a section of the rampart. You can see it with ERT excavations done, done also in the, in the 80s. So we have one kilometer, one kilometer of rampart, which would give an approximate 8,000 uh, cubic meters, that is really an estimation because it has three phases and so on and so on. But we don't, mustn't forget about the interior of the settlement because we excavated a trench here in the central part. It is two meters deep and this is just layers which were, uh, 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 which uh, uh, prolonged or within the central plateau. The central plateau is almost 5,000 square meters and on this on this edge, it is it goes down to two meters. So again, a lot of material was moved to create places, and we have roads, road a road leading up to Postela. It's a Hallstatt period road, uh, also cutting in the cutting in the rock, and then sediments, different fractions of sediments put to create the uh, the road. So again, then we have cemeteries. And what is interesting, on one of the cemeteries, we can see the structures, and we go deeper and deeper, we see we have chronology in those, uh, uh, in, in those cemeteries. So this is also for the people, in a way, afterwards, an inherited space of a distinct group, probably, uh, which lived in the community on the, on the, on the hill fort. But these were probably groups having their own uh, small graveyards or smaller uh, areas to, to bury their people. But this is not the only thing which is there. We also made geophysics on the other part of the cemetery and, and what we excavated here. These are two areas of where we found bone and a lot of pottery. What pottery was it? It was pots, it was bowls, it was baking lids. So for preparing food and consumption food. A lot of uh, annual bones as you can see, different kinds, mostly is domestic, and it's only these lower parts which, which, which was found. So this is areas of 14 to 12, and one is a little bit uh, smaller. But these are quite, quite extensive areas, packed, 30 centimeters of packed material. So we don't have only tumuli. Besides the tumuli, we have those, let's call them ritual places. And then this is the whole area which we are again have to focus on. And we did also, also the uh, visibility analysis. And what is most interesting, okay, you can see everything from the hill fort, but on the other side, the barrel groups, they have their own uh, view sheds, which is very interesting. If we look, for instance, from down here, the biggest tumulus is here. You don't see it. It's a small ridge in between. So this intervisibility between the different uh, groups, it's not so, uh, it's not so um, normal. So if you look from here up to the upper cemeteries, you see just this one tumulus. And you also see here two lines, terraces made 
below the, 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 the tumulus. So this area was structured just to give a sense, because it's on the skyline, you would see it. Uh, it's not somewhere in between, which it could be hidden. It's on the, on the edge of on the skyline. This bit. And then if we would uh, think about how people moved through this uh, landscape, here it's a, it's a swampy area. So presumably, because all, also all the tumuli are structured on this terrace, you would move probably here through the bigger cemetery here, then you would move towards this biggest tumulus because also here we have hallways, as you can see them here. We uh, did a small uh, reconstruction, what your uh, skyline, what, what your surroundings would look like. And of course, when you move through this cemetery, you are fully engaged directly in the, in the vicinity and around you are, are tumulus. And hit the hill for of course, above you all the time. But it's interesting, when you move from this cemetery to here, you lose the contact to, the, to this cemetery and you, uh, you walk into the, uh, uh, the view of this bigger tumulus, which is a, really a marker, but it's now surrounded with houses, so uh, I don't have any sexy photos of it, so I'm sorry for that. Uh, and on the other side, when you walk up there, so you come through the hallways up, you don't see anything. For a, a short period, from here to here, you don't see anything. But then you come directly into the view shed of two groups, you step into this one, and above you, you see the hill fort. So it's all, 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 almost theatrical piece. You come from nothing and then you step almost onto a tumulus. And here it's also that, uh, that um, th th this ritual places. Also just here when you come up that, that uh, ridge. But we mustn't forget about other things. Um, what was also uh, uh, serving people we were doing uh, petrography of pottery and we found four different types of clay they all come from the region and there are four different types we found approximately three two of them sources on, on the areas but for two we don't have a clue where to find them but all the pottery we checked a lot of pottery with petrography but they're made of four, four clays so of course, they had areas where to source from, where to get clays. And we'll have to, of course, check what the others around were doing, using the same sources or were there. This, this source is their sources. And if we look to, to the other region, to Dolensko, hill forts, tumuli in the landscape, we have Novo Mesto, which is a burial place for almost 1,000 years, Ernfield culture, Hallstatt period, Latin period. And we have Zwinger near Dolensky to Plitze, which is exciting because you see these hallways coming, 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 and at one place, here, at the last tumulus, in front of the metallurgical zone where a lot of kilns, uh, um, furnaces were, were found, oh, hundreds of them by geophysics. Here it couples to one and it goes up a structured road to the, to the, to the hill fort. Veliki Vinivar, even more. You can see tens of tumulus structured on the ridge, leading you to the, to the, to the hill fort. And this area is huge. It's five by five kilometers, what you're seeing right now here. So my question, of course, is uh, where can we seek the, uh, the public spaces? What can we say were the public spaces? Because people were engaging with their uh, surroundings. We can look for structures, but must not look only for structures. Because as, as we saw before, intervisibility is there, but there probably was something else. Uh, people claimed their land in a way, probably here with tumuli. People leading, uh, the, this tumuli leading you the, to, the, to the site, but also to the commerce, the people coming, it was a sign. This is our, our place. But who was the one who was ahead of this? I mean. We are also, every, every time we are talking about a hill fort, we say, yes, people came and they made in one, one run, they made the, the, the fortress and so on and so on. But 
it wasn't like that. It wasn't this socialistic. Yeah, we all go, we do, we do work, we, we, we do our, our road of, of uh, um, community. So these questions are so many, these signs are so many, and it, it changes. I, I won't say it's, it's, too compl it's different complexities from the Bronze to the Iron Age, but for now, what we see, we see different societies acting differently. And I have more questions than I had before, so I'll just thank you for your attention.